turn it off, turn on the light. Okay, guys, so today I'm doing to make my cake, my red velvet cake. I'm going to make my egg. I'm not taking out the yolk out of the egg. Welcome to my video. Make sure that you are watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. So, I am going to add one teaspoon of lime to my egg. And this is how I do it. And I'm going to whip my egg. So, everybody do their thing differently. So, I'm used to baking cake from scratch, meaning I'm, I have all the ingredients and I do everything. Now, this is a box cake. And I've been doing this from I was 12, 11, 12 year old every Sunday. This is a, the first cake that I learned to bake. Oh, I've never baked red velvet before. So, stop what you're doing. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so the reason why I put the lime juice into the egg is to cut away some of the rawness, okay? Alright, so I went ahead and I put two, two cups of milk into my red velvet cake. Two cups of milk. So I'm going to whip this around. All right, my people. So, as you can see, you have to rub it. Oh, it smells really nice. You have to rub it really good. So I'm whipping up the red velvet cake. Ready? So now I am going to put in my egg. I'm going to add my egg to this. This is my three eggs that I'll be adding to the red velvet box cake and what i will be doing i don't have any butter so i'll be adding half a cup which is 120 millimeters of cooking oil don't think i'm gonna put in all of that but because this is a small cake so I'll be adding my oil and my butter. All right, so now I'm going to do the mixture. I am going to be mixing, 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 mixing. So if you just watch me whip this up, make sure that you're liking, subscribing, and following the channel. Okay, so I went ahead and I put some clothes into it. I'm just going to add my touch to it. Whatever I'm doing, I like to add my little touch to it. So now I'm going to put in half teaspoon of my vanilla. My vanilla extract. And I love when it with my cake is very spicy. I always tell you I'm a spicy girl. Then my almond extract and then my rose water. Okay, so what I do is that I add a little bit of pancake to my cake mix. So the reason for this is to give it a little body because it's very um it was it never have a lot of body and I don't wanna when I bake the cake it's too um it's gonna be too soft and then when you cut it's gonna break up break apart so i put a little it's my twist whatever i'm doing i always like to do something different i like to experiment and i like to um to do a little twist to whatever i'm doing 
for people. You're gonna see the outcome of my red velvet cake soon. And I'm doing this not in the oven today, but into my air fryer. So I'm going to rub this, rub it, rub it, rub it, and get out all of the lumps out of it and make sure that it's smooth and nice. My kids are here and they're telling me to put a little raisin. So I might just have two, about five raisins, or so I don't want to put a, I might put prune. Five prune, I don't want to put a lot in there because I'm not really a raisin person. So keep watching. Okay, so I put some more vanilla because I love actually that I love when things are spicy. It's red and pretty. Oh my gosh. You know, red velvet is my favorite cake. So I'm gonna put um some prune on the top. I'm gonna put some red wine in it. Not much, just a little bit. Just a little toopsie. I'm gonna use one one tablespoon of red wine. Yes, my love red wine. You'll always hear me talk about red wine and drink red wine. I love it. I'm not an alcoholic, but I love red wine. Alright, so this is my red velvet cake. My butter is finished now. And I have started the air fryer. And I put the pan in it. The baking tin, sorry. <laughs> I put the baking tin. All right, so the, the pot is in the, the baking tin is in the air fryer and it's getting ready. Okay guys, so this is my red velvet cake and this is how it turned out and then i add a little fruits on top of it okay guys so this is my red velvet cake and this is how it turned out and what i did i just made a little mixture my little secret and put it on top and then this is some fruits and some chocolate that i put on top of it just for presentation so guys, I just realized that my box cake is Betty Cooker and my utensil that I'm using is Betty Cooker. Yay! I'm so excited for me. Anyways guys, remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.